guys, welcome back to this brand new episode. This is a special episode we're doing today on how to conduct a proper paranormal investigation. So at first, what equipment will you require? Well, the first, the first item on board would be the EMF detector. A K2 meter will do, but many opinions have surfaced and there may be better options. Now, why do I mention this device? First and foremost, you might ask. Well, two words, ghost hunt. We are actually searching for an area of interest. These so-called apparitions may be, and we want to make contact with them. Uses. How to use. The EMF detector is very simple, really. You will search surrounding areas, keeping an eye on the EMF detector, and hope to see an anomalous spike in your reading, meaning you will see your meter jump from green to red, or back down again. Almost like using a compass in the Bermuda Triangle, it will continue to act sporadic and unnatural. A way around the EMF detector is a barometer, which is conducting sudden drops in temperature, also known as cold spots. Now for the second part. So this is number two on our list, which is, mo which is most of our favorite trying to make contact. You can do so with these two devices. Most known is the EVP, or Electronic Voice Phenomenon Recording Device. Now this, and I cannot stress this enough, done properly, yes, you will have to save a bit of money. You actually do require what is called a Zoom, 360 degree audio recording device. Why, you may ask yourself? Because a regular recording device will simply not make the cut. You see, like recording vocals or your voice on a podcast, you are actually you are using a device that requires direct input. So if I hold the device like this, it's just going to record me or you know your friend right beside you etc so you need to record in 360 degrees so like you you need to record in every direction only coming in one direction when truthfully you need all around to capture your ghost voice Spirit Box is a very skeptical as it is picking up radio frequency, so you might get a few words from a radio announcer, truck driver, and anything that comes into contact in range of its bandwidth. But there is one device ghost hunters swear by using a built-in dictionary to deliver the best outcome, and it, my friends, is called the Obelisk 3. The third items are used for the perfect capture imagery. You will require the following. A FLIR thermal camera, more commonly used by electricians. This device detects heat sources, but through scientific evidence in the paranormal field, since this device also conducts cold and heat, allow me to demonstrate. If you were to point the camera in a direction of a human being, they will appear in heat signature colors so yellow red and orange for heat but if you were to point this at the deceased they show up in blue so like if you were in a building and there was a body there it would show up in blue because it's cold well imagine a blue figure of a human being walking around but however when you look away there is nothing in eye view along with this device of course you will want to document the, these findings with your HD video camera, perhaps along with full spec lighting, which isn't needed but may also be a more affordable choice. Choice. Last on the list is flash camera. Any flash camera will do as long as your audience can make out the photograph well enough to support your claims. That's all for this week's episode, guys. And remember to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more exciting new content, and again, thank you for watching and happy hunting. Cheers.